to see you. Oh, well, I saw lovely. you a little bit sooner than everyone else, oh didn't I? God. We we did Celebrity Juice last night. Oh, your <laughs> and I. Wow. I was shell I, I didn't manage to properly catch up with you afterwards, oh, but I was so shell shocked in the cab on the way back, and I just thought, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> what it just happened? You've never seen it before. I've seen bits of it, but neither I've never of us had ever done it before. Yeah. I said I've been crawling about in a cardboard box, <laughs> literally metaphorically speaking. You know, you're put back in a box, being battered by your past. <laughs> I mean, that is basically that is what happens. happens. Yeah. With, you know, someone be pretending to be Phil Mitchell and Pat Butcher throwing, smashing bottles at the box, <laughs> throwing stuffed wellards at the box, like yeah. kicking the box. It was like you'd never been away. I mean, like to write a journal when I got home about how <laughs> I'm so happy that I did that, and you know exactly what you don't ever want to be doing, doing again in your life. <laughs> but so aside on, from that, us, it was quite fun. Give us one more. Okay, no, I don't on. think I ever said that. That was actually you only did. ever said you saw by it on the clip. Jonathan Ross, like in that way, like. Okay. Th and maybe uh, it got made play more up after that. Yeah. Because okay. yeah, yeah, it just yeah. becomes like they I like think. to play up to. Did, did you like having a catchphrase? Because surely it makes no, life a lot easier for you. Makes your life hell. Oh, does it? Yeah. And anybody, any poor kids that were ever called Ricky, their lives <laughs> must have been hell. <laughs> You've been so well for so long, and this amazing new life, which I have to say I'm more than a little jealous about, living in Malibu <laughs> and living the healthy life. How did you? How did you save yourself, where so many others haven't? Do you think? Um, we just decided that we wanted to go, so mm. we just said we either go now or we just don't go. <laughs> I mean, it is that simple. It's yeah. like you either go or you don't. So we just wanted to go, and my kids are big tennis players, and you know they, you know, I just wanted the outdoor life for them. And really. why, but why Malibu? We why didn't not intend Sydney to be or... in Malibu. We were yeah. nearly in Sydney ten yeah. years ago, and that was part of the reason, because I worked in Sydney. I did a film there, and then we, I really wanted to stay there, and we came back, mm. and it was like. It wasn't like it was ever a big regret or yeah, anything, yeah. but mm -hmm. it was just like, you know, we could have just stayed there. Like, you can, you can do it. Mm. And we're like, what happened? We came back and everything's just the same and it's lovely and London's like the most fantastic place like in the world. Don't get me wrong, Malibu's lovely. Oh, but I spent all my London's time watching amazing. those shows, you know, where they emigrate to the yeah, sun and I think, yeah. oh yes, I'm gonna go and do that, but I never do. But, but you did? Did yeah, the kids I, settle? Was it easy for the children? Yeah, my kids are really, really happy. And they wanted to go as well, so it's yeah. different. Yeah. What well, kid's not going to be happy living in Malibu? Come yeah. on, with the sports. Sun, sun, yeah, sun, it, sun, is sun. Really a lo it is a really but, beautiful But do you life. act out there? Or what, no. What, what do you do now? Well, when I got out, we were like, where could we go? Like, I would really have loved to have gone somewhere in Europe, because obviously mm. it's closer. And then I thought, I'll just be commuting, like, the whole time yeah. if we yeah. do that, because I can't speak a language. So um, we said, well, we'll go to L.A. And then my dad used to live in America when I was a kid. Oh. I didn't spend, like, loads of time over there. But mm -hmm. we said, we'll go to L.A. Because, obviously, being an actor, that's the place where, you know... Yeah, yeah. ..maybe something will happen, maybe it won't. And it was never going there for my career. Um, and then... I just kind of let it go quite quickly because where we ended up in Malibu, we never planned to move to Malibu. We moved there for the school. Okay. So we just decided on the school first off. That was the only public school that takes kids where there's middle school, high school. And Fenton and Amelia really wanted to be together because they've been together their whole lives and they're really close. So she didn't want to go to a strange country, a strange place where she wasn't in school with her brother. Yeah. So that was the only school that had a middle school and high school on the same campus. So we thought, choose the school first, they'll be happy. And people were like, Malibu's so far away from anything. And I'm like, but from what? There's far away from what? Not you know, because there's nothing. <laughs> yeah. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing. Yeah, no, I'm, I, I, I came um, because I do like inspirational breakfast in Malibu. So a, a friend, me and a friend of mine started doing it and it was really successful. And we have like a businesswoman come and we always have a charity. Mm -hmm. So we're all, it's always about like doing a bit of both, how you always need to do a bit of both. Like, because it really, it's not going to work. Like, mm -hmm. unless you understand that you have to do that. So we just have breakfast and every, and it's just a safe place for women to come. A bit like how you and do And what sort here. of conversation? I mean, is it something that you're driving? Is it conversation? <clears throat> no, really, yeah. they just speak. Like, we have a meditation teacher that comes in and we have a girl that was... Basically, she changed her whole career. She was a really famous fashion 
stylist in New York. She had her own business, her own shop. She was Lauren Hill's personal stylist. And she just completely went on burnout. So then mm. she decided that her real passion was meditation. And she started a whole career through just following what her real mm -hmm. gut inside thing was. And if she you meet other people do. who've done that, it yeah. kind yeah. of spurs Yeah, so you she on. does the meditation, which is amazing. Like, literally, like... So I'm bringing her over here in May. And we're going to do three at... Um, grind coffee houses because it's breakfast but then the best thing about it is I get an email just as I was coming over here from the mayor's fund and she said to me oh do you still want to support the breakfast club and I was like oh my god like that was something that I was doing before I came which was making sure that disadvantaged kids in Tower Hamlets where I actually was born and came from mm. were being fed before they go to school uh -huh. and they're now trying to get the government to pay so that they're fed in the school holidays as well, because they don't just stop being yeah, hungry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so.